Aaron Stell here with West, and I've had a few questions about how to share seller property disclosures uh, while uh, being able to have your client fill them out electronically and then send them over uh, electronically. So here's how you do it. You come in here and we're going to take our new listing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into listing and it's the best listing ever if I can type. And I'm gonna say residential and I'm gonna come down here and I'm just going to click save. Now, a couple things we need to do. I actually like to go to documents first and I'll explain this in a minute. And I go all forms. And if you just type in disclosure up here, I've done that before. So I'm gonna go down to this one here that says e-signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. And then I'm going to go up here to where it says parties and over to where it says seller one. And it's gonna take just a second for this to load up the little box. Um, but the things that we're gonna need is we'll need them. So this is, we're gonna say it's Sally seller. And we're going to throw in the email address. So I'm just going to use my WFG email address and I'm going to click save. And the thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say share docs. So just right next to their name. And I'm going to say seller property disclosure. And I'm going to say save. So now what I can do is I can go back over here to documents and I can click on the disclosures and I can click on e-sign. Now I would have obviously the property address and all that kind of stuff in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and say e-sign and I'm gonna say property disclosure and I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click Sally seller and I'll click close and I will click next again. And one thing you'll note as it's pulling up DocuSign here is it is going to have all of the boxes, uh, not just where they need to sign an initial, but over the top of every single one of the little things that they can click on. So those are all there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit send here and I'm gonna show you what this then looks like on the other side. So if I click on my email and I'm gonna need to get it to actually load here. There it is. So if I open this thing up and I'll click on review document, there are a couple of things that are important to note here. So you'll want to train your client a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. Um, but one thing to note is all of the boxes are obviously, they're optional and not required. So you're gonna have to tell them what they should fill out. So if I'm going through and I'm saying, okay, I'm the seller, I can click on that. Um, but I'll say is optional, yes, 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 et cetera. However, if I just click start, it's gonna take me down to the signature. So it's gonna skip past all this part. So you need to make sure that when they're filling it out, they fill out all the boxes, then click the sign portion to do all the signatures initials. But if you do that, it's a much quicker, faster, and easier way to get your clients to fill this out all electronically without the hassle or headache of having to print it out. So hope that helps. And by all means, if you have any questions, please let me know.